Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks and today's video is about the virtual segment delete tool. Somebody emailed me and asked me a couple of questions about it, how, how to use it and what's it good for. And it's located right here on your, underneath your pick tool, underneath your shape tool is your crop flyout. There's your virtual segment delete key. Now, when you're using it and you go back and forth, it's always going to be there, but normally yours is going to be the crop tool because that's the when you turn on Corel. I use mine so much I have a hot key, so I don't have to go here. I just go here and I get the virtual segment delete key. But what the virtual segment delete key is and does, it stops. It's like a knife. This is representing a like an exacto knife in a a minus sign to take stuff away. It doesn't matter what it is, what kind of line it is. We're just going to go ahead and do some. If I cut right here, I'm just going to take the swipe through it. It's going to remove that line because that line stopped it and that rectangle stopped it. Same here. If I want to remove this, I'm going to get just that. Doesn't matter if it's a rectangle, the line's going to stop it. The same thing is true in indexing lines. Indexing lines are just lines you bring in from your rulers and the virtual segment delete key will delete anything in those lines. Now you see what I just did. I, I, instead of just getting on the line and you can see it kind of stand up, instead of doing that, you can just wipe through it and marquee it and it'll get anything, any line you're touching. The virtual segment delete key is pretty important for other reasons to make, well, you can make this shape several ways, but if you wanted to get that shape, you could just wipe through here and take away all everything else. And then you just have that little bit of a curve. Now, like I said, if you wanted that shape and you brought in some indexing lines, all you have to do is get your two point line, start moving and then hold down the control button start moving in and hold down the control button. And now you've made a well or something for the smart fill tool not to leak to. And now you have that shape and you also, if you left click, no fill, right click, outline, you have an outline of that, that shape you wanted, that little bit of a contour of a little bit of a curve of, a, of that circle. Anyway, so that's the virtual segment delete key, I call it. It's actually the delete tool. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.